I wanted to share with you some amazing uh, Python visualizations in Excel from a friend of mine, Carlos Barboza. Uh, Carlos is, is really incredible at data visualization, and the stuff he produces is, is pretty mind-blowing. If you're not already following him on YouTube, then I really recommend you subscribe to his channel, and I'll put a link for you below. These interactive Excel charts are made using the Python packages Seaborn and Matplotlib, and they go way beyond what's possible using just Excel charts. Uh, for example, I love this k-means clustering plot and the way I can interact with it intuitively and see it update in real time. As I select different options, the, the chart updates, uh, and I can even change like the number of clusters, and it's just it's really cool. Uh, it even updates the results in a, in a table below so you can drill further into the data. This uh, hex bin plot is also great. Uh, it really, really clearly shows the relationships between variables in the data. Uh, and I love the histograms on each axis and they, they really enhance the chart. Now, everything I'm showing you is running without sending any data to the cloud. Uh, it's using the Python Excel add-in pixel, which runs your Python code locally. So nothing ever leaves your computer. And because it's running locally, you're free to install and use any Python packages you like. Uh, as well as accessing local resources like files and databases, all directly from your Python code running in Excel. If you want a copy of this workbook as well as the Python code, leave a comment below and I'll send that over to you. As well as being able to select different inputs on the Excel sheet, we can move the chart and resize it, and we can even pull up an interactive version of each chart. This lets us uh, zoom and pan around so we can really get deep into the, into the data. Now, uh, Carlos originally put this together to test out Microsoft's Python in Excel feature, uh, but that turned out to be way too slow, uh, really not at all suitable for interactive dashboards like this. Uh, you can see in, in this version of the spreadsheet, making changes just results in these busy icons, and you have to wait a really, really long time for it to finally update, making it pretty, pretty much unusable. So unlike Pixel, Microsoft's Python in Excel runs in the cloud, so all of your data has to be sent there and the results have to be sent back. Uh, but even so, I don't really understand why the performance is so terrible. Uh, you, you can't interact with the charts uh, and trying to resize them results in these horrible stretched images. But moving the code to Pixel was, was pretty simple uh, and the result is this really awesome interactive spreadsheet with all of our data staying local and uh, not having to send anything to the cloud. So I want to say uh, thanks again to Carlos for all of this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to his channel uh, and leave a comment below if you want a copy of the workbook and the Python code.